Hi, welcome back to the study of the Gospel of John. This is Dr. Joni, and uh, today I want to cover John chapter 19 verses 12 to 15. And my title is, The Judges Sit. From then on, Pilate tried to set Jesus free. But the Jewish leaders kept shouting, If you let this man go, you are no friend of Caesar. That's the emperor, Roman emperor. Anyone who claims to be a king opposes Caesar. When Pilate heard this, he brought Jesus out and sat, and sat down on the judge's seat at a place known as the Stone Pavement. It was the day of preparation of the Passover. It was about noon. Here is your king, Pilate said to the Jews. But they shouted, Take him away, take him away, crucify him. Shall I crucify your king? Pilate asked. We have no king but Caesar, the chief priests answered. Now it is interesting that Pilate put Jesus on the judge's seat and present Jesus to the Jews saying, Here! is your king. The Jews had passed a death sentence on Jesus. They wanted him killed. They shouted, kill him, kill him. On the judgment day, Jesus will actually be sitting on a judge seat and to judge the whole world of the sins. These people, Jesus said, who handed me to you, he told Pilate, are guilty of a greater sin. That means Pilate has sinned because he had failed to do the right thing. He killed, he got Jesus crucified even though he found no fault in Jesus. Will you be found guilty? When you stand before Jesus, the judge, the all-knowing judge. Now, sin is not just doing the wrong things. Sin can be failure to do the right thing. You cannot point a finger on someone and say, this person or that person made me sin or made me choose to do the wrong thing. You have a choice. Pilate chose not to do the right thing because he was threatened and he was afraid of the Jewish leaders. In Second Timothy two, uh, in Second Timothy chapter three verse two, the Bible says, "In the last days, and people, we are in the last days." People will say, it says here, people will, will become lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, no love, unforgiving, slanderous, saying, you know, bad things or false things about other people. No self-control. That means you don't have control over your temper or sexual desire. Cruel or evil. Lately, I've been hearing stories of family members being unkind to their siblings Things they are unkind to their brothers or sisters or even their parents, being ungrateful, just leaving them alone and going on their own life and not caring for the needs of family members. Bullied in school, 
Many children are bullied and they even committed suicide. That is cruelty. That is evil. You think it is fun, but it's not. It's being mean and unkind to people, making fun of others who don't have what you have. Hate what is good. And that is evil. Hater of what is good. Traitor. Self important. That is being selfish. Making yourself more important than others. Or more righteous than others. Love pleasure. These are people who just want to have fun and don't care about other people. I have friends or even neighbors who just put on loud music in the middle of the night, on the television, playing band and so on. Okay, that is lovers of pleasure rather than lover of God. You can see these things happening today all around you. And that the Bible calls sin. If you are guilty of any of this sin, pray with me. Jesus, forgive me of all my sins, whether in my mind or with my words or actions, consciously or unconsciously, causing pain or hurt to others. Making me, make me clean so that I can be received by you into heaven in G when I die. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, be ready to meet Jesus who will be your judge. Signing off. Stay tuned. God bless.